So you probably felt that it wasn't an easy thing to control someone. And then just imagine, add another 50 <coughs> pounds to that person, an athletic 50 pounds, and like just trying to be hanging on to him doesn't really work that well. Now, you can just try to lift, put your weight on him, so to speak, and like just kind of lean into him. That will help, but we'll skip to something even more efficient and strong. Just weight, it's okay, but he's still gonna have other movement options pretty good. My absolute favorite thing to do is, I'm gonna use kind of my knees to clamp on his hips like this. You can be a little bit out of side too. Sometimes I will be out of side. I'm not like <clears throat> stuck here, but I, I connect my knees to his hips. My toes are touching the floor when needed. And I try to keep my elbows down towards his hips as well. And I have a very unusual position here. But when he goes to move, it's quite heavy. And I, it's quite easy for me to start slipping legs in front of his leg, okay? Which is what I want. A couple of things. Go oh, all the way yeah. If he gets, like, I want you to go up to your hands and your knees. Go. I'll stay on him, but I like to be seeking the floor with one foot at any given time. My hands are tight here, but I'm never opposed to putting a hand down if I need to. My goal is to stay on top of it, okay? And we'll look at a few different, like, I want you just to kind of get used to staying on them like that. I would suggest that it's a good deal heavier than what you experience when it's just the arms around the waist. Like, and if he's pretty fresh, they may move around quite a bit. Um, as they get more and more tired, the effect is felt pretty fast. Like it doesn't take that much. Most people try to move initially when I create this connection and then stop <laughs> doing that after a fairly short period of time, like literally under 10 seconds, most people go, actually, maybe I have to respect that connection and they'll start, because they'll still feel the mounting energy cost to keep moving or try to do something more dramatic, okay? One, two, three.